Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to install the GitHub Enterprise Server on Azure. We're actually going to do it two ways. We're going to install it uh, from the UI and then we're going to install it from the command line just so you can see how that works out. All right, so let's start with the uh, UI first. So we'll go to uh, our home, create a resource, and then just search for GitHub. And this should pull up our server. Yep and then just go to create and this will take the latest version of the server that's available which i believe is 372 right now uh, we'll create a new resource group ghes test uh, let's do test rg and machine name ghes1 and well let's do test one i'm going to create two of them so uh, all right that's 64 that's fine Four BCPUs, 32 gig of memory is fine for me. I'm going to add my key here, uh, my public key. One moment. And then select this. And the operating system already has a disk that's going to be associated to it, but we do have to create a second disk uh, for the data drive. All right, so let's create and attach a new disk, and it'll automatically scan for this disk, so you don't have to do anything about it. Uh, data disk and being one terabyte in size that's fine and let's change this to read write cache uh, networking I'm gonna leave all this alone for this instance uh, management uh, no I don't need to make any other changes let's go ahead and see if it validates looks good so we'll click create here now I should start to spin up our environment for Okay, while this finishes up, let's go ahead and do the uh, CLI version. And I took a few seconds and went ahead and scripted out everything. So we've got our environment variables here. This will all be included in a script you can find on my GitHub channel, OCP Dude. So definitely check that out if you wanna uh, modify that for your own install. Uh, so we're just setting a storage SA, my location, East US, the VM name, GHES1. Uh, yeah, cause this is test one. I'm gonna keep this one. Uh, and then we've got OCP now as my domain. Uh, GitHub is the VM name, so it'll be github.ocpnow.com. And then the resource groups for those. All right, so that's stored. Okay, so let's go ahead and start uh, copy pasting everything out here. And the first thing we're going to need to do is create our resource group. So copy paste that resource group that was created. Now let's uh, see if I can. Copy that in, and for some reason I have a line break here in my script. I'll fix it for you. Uh, so now we're going to deploy the VM, and uh, this will include a disk for the operating system, just like it did over here. And then I'm picking the latest version, which is 3.7.2. Uh, I'll also leave in the script uh, that will be provided on the GitHub link how to search for um, various versions. So if you didn't want 3.2 or 3.7.2, maybe you wanted you know, 3.6.4 or something, you'll be able to pick that image as well. So it'll pull up like the entire library that's available on Azure. All right, so we're going to stick with this one. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Once that's done, and this will take a few seconds, then we'll attach our second disk uh, to it. So I'm going to take a brief pause, and I'll be right back once this uh, process runs, and we'll continue from there. All right, be right back. Okay, so we've got our... Uh, image up let's go ahead and paste in our second disk so this is again adding that second drive to it you see here we're attaching a disk uh, the name does need to be this ghe data vht and then read write for caching we'll go ahead and hit enter there uh, take note of this ip address let me copy that it's the public ip for the server because uh, a step down here i'm going to be adding that dns entry all right, so we got that second drive. Now let's go ahead and add our DNS. Copy, paste. So right here, uh, I am adding a, uh, a new record. You'll see the star.dns. Um, and we need that wildcard. I'll show you when we get it loaded, uh, but we'll need that wildcard record. So I'm gonna go ahead and include that with this IP address. So we'll do that. And then we'll do it again without the dot. So it'll be, there we go, like that one, because I need two records in there. Okay, and then let's remove 
uh, the two existing records. Let me copy that from my script. And then so now we're removing uh, one, two, three, four is actually on this one. So we'll remove that. And then uh, 5.6.7.8 is on our wildcard record. So we'll remove that one. And you can also do that over here if you wanted. So uh, if you look at our domain uh, right here. So I've added those records to it. Um, I should have added my TTL at defaults to an hour. Uh, so let's change that to five minutes. Save that. And we'll come back to this other one here and change that to five minutes as well. All right. And refresh. There we go. Okay, that looks good. All right. Um, let me close that. Okay. Now the next step, uh, clear the screen. And now we just need to add those uh, firewall rules in for our GitHub Enterprise server. And I have scripted all those out as well. Uh, here's the first one. And what we're doing here is we're adding uh, port uh, 8443. All right, clear the screen, and then we're going to add port 122, and that's the admin SSH port. All right, clear, and we'll add this one, which is port 443. All right, clear, and now I'm adding uh, the get user port. And the last one I'm going to add is port 80. Uh, port 80 is not going to actually receive traffic, but it's to redirect. All right, so it's port 80. Now there's a couple of other ports you can add. If you're going to be receiving email, you can open up port 25. If you're going to be creating a HA configuration with multiple GHESs, then you can open up uh, UDP port 1194. I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm just creating a single instance, but uh, just remember you have to add your own uh, rules. Uh, into the uh, network security group. All right, so if we go check that out over here, uh, where am I at? Let's go to our, under network security group, we'll see those rules have been added. All right, okay, so next step is let's go ahead and prepare our blob storage. So I need to have a storage SA account can't remember if I added that in my environment variable, but there it is. All right, and then we'll go ahead and create our storage. And so this is uh, using that account. We're just going to create a standard local uh, storage. Okay, so our storage account is created. Now let's go ahead and, and create our um, or add our privileges to it. So uh, storage blob data contributor. All right, so that's done. Copy, clear, and now we'll go ahead and create our container. All right, so that's been created. And we'll need this uh, storage blob for GitHub Actions. Uh, so, and we'll have to grab that field. Um, so if we take a look at, go back to our resource group here, <clears throat> and then under our storage SA account, we should have a container, which we just created right there, but we need to get our access key and we'll fetch this connection string uh, and put that into our install. All right, so right now we've got, uh, I think everything set up uh, for our GitHub Enterprise server. So let's go to resource groups and we should have two of them. Our test one is the one that we uh, created for um, our through the UI. So let's go ahead and check that out. And here's our IP address. And we'll just open up a new tab, HTTPS. And there we go, self-signed cert. So we're gonna get this twice. There we go. And this should log us in, sure enough. And we can continue building this one by uploading our license file. It's gonna be identical to the way we're doing it before, but you can see that we're ready to go from here. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and close that one. Uh, I don't need this uh, resource group anymore. So let's go ahead and delete that one. 
SKGS test RG and get rid of all those resources that are in there. Because uh, the one that we're going to continue to work with is this install here. And we can take a look at that IP address. Oops, sorry, wrong thing. Uh, right here, all right, which is at 230, and that should be in our DNS. Uh, as long as it may or may not be resolvable, uh, let's give it a try. Uh, so that's uh, git hub.ocpnow.com, and we want the admin port, so that's 8443, and that may or may not get us there. Let's try without that 8443. Nope, not yet in DNS. Okay, no problem. We'll just grab this IP address and get there the same way. So HTTPS, there we go. All right. So this will happen twice again, self sign cert. All right, now let's grab our license file. And I believe that's do do right there. And then we'll add our account password. This is the administrator account. All right, so that, <clears throat> All right. And we're gonna do a new install. And this is the uh, IP address, but we are github.ocpnow.com. All right, and you wanna check your domain settings. So if I click this, uh, I, I'm not really sure if it's propagated yet, but if we click that, oh, looks. All right, so it found the wildcard. Uh, so it said that's valid. It also said that this one's valid. Um, so that's great. Uh, SSL is not gonna be valid yet. Uh, we'll close that. We want to turn on domain isolation, uh, so check that. Now we should test the settings again, and what we hope to see is everything checked right there, DNS. Now the mail record, I don't care about, so that's that's fine, but all these other ones, I definitely want to make sure that those are all green, um, or I could end up with uh, some you know bad style sheets and stuff. All right, so this, this looks good. Go ahead and cancel that. Uh, we could go ahead and enable actions here if we want to try that. Uh, we can do our test string. Remember I was saying earlier that we need to have that one uh, key added. So let's go ahead and we'll add that. And so we'll show here and let's copy it to the clipboard. See if it pastes in. Did not. Sometimes it doesn't like to do that. All right, so we'll do copy and then we'll paste it here and then delete the word hide at the bottom there. There we go, and then click test storage, and this should be fine. Okay, so looks like our configuration was successful, so we'll go ahead and close that, and then we'll save and continue, and then it'll start building our, oh, that's no, gonna take us here first, okay, and then when I hit save, it'll go ahead and build our settings out. Uh, I'm not worried about the uh, SSH key here for right now. We can build everything else out later. Let's see, SSH, host name, that all tested fine. Uh, see if there's any changes. Oh, let's go ahead. We'll just drop in our PEM file under 411. I got certs and I have a custom PEM file someplace here. There it is. Grab that. And then we'll load our key right here. All right, get those loaded. Private mode's fine. I don't need any of this. No mobile apps. All right, and save settings, and it'll start building the environment for us, and we'll get the checkboxes. And this part does take a, a good bit of time to start building everything out. Okay, this looks like it's done building out. We'll go ahead and hit visit our instance. This may or may not work because the DNS hasn't been resolved yet. Let's give it a shot. Oh, there we go. Okay, great. So we'll add our uh, admin, or our first user or admin account name. Let's do. Uh, Get admin, and then we'll add an email address and then a password. All right, and then create the admin account. There we go. So we now have our shiny new instance uh, ready to rock and roll. So we go to our enterprise settings. You can see we have no orgs. We can make all these uh, changes. 
So that's it for this video. Uh, we have installed GitHub Enterprise Server in two ways. We've installed it using the CLI and we've installed it uh, through the command line. And this is the command line version. And if you're gonna stick around for the other two parts, we're gonna be deploying OpenShift on Azure and then we're going to deploy the Actions Runner controller on OpenShift and uh, interface that with our uh, instance here on Azure, our GitHub server instance for automation and CI CD workflows uh, using GitHub Actions. All right, so that's it for this video. 